about sex, whether it is before marriage, whether it is after marriage, whether it is done during marriage, is no longer a sin. Any preacher saying that sex before marriage is a sin. They say wonder shall never end, but this time around, I think this man is really going out of his senses. How would a pastor come out in the public and say that sex before or outside marriage is no longer a sin? What? Well, before I drop the main gist, if you're new here, kindly smash on that subscribe button and if you're a returning viewer, like this video and share it on all social media platforms. Well, I came across this video and I was really surprised. How would a man of God get to this point of saying stuff like this? Guys, before I play this video for your viewing pleasure, do you think sex outside marriage, that's adultery, or sex before marriage, which is generally known as fornication, a sin? Be it a Christian, Muslim, or a traditionalist, drop your take in the comment section. Let's have a little chit chat. Meanwhile, watch what this pastor had to say. Sex, whether it is before marriage, whether it is after marriage, whether it is done during marriage, is no longer a sin. Any preacher saying that sex before marriage is a sin is an enemy of the finished work and is not really. That if, you are, if you are just holding yourself saying that you want to, this is when you get married, that is when you have sex, you are just holding yourself for nothing. It has nothing to do with holiness, it has nothing to do with righteousness, it has nothing to do with purity because Jesus already renewed our mind in the understanding of what Jesus has done. If sin has been destroyed, then that means that this sex before marriage that people call sin is no longer a sin because of what Jesus has done on the cross. Sin has died. And, and so there is no sin anymore because before God, Jesus has become that Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the whole world. He taketh it away completely so that people can live in a living life of liberty and a life of grace. The reason why many people usually say that it should be done in marriage, it is because the act of sex itself is a covenant. That is, whenever you whenever you have sex with someone then you enter into a covenant that is a covenant binding you and that person together. It's a covenant itself. And so, because of their religious mentality in those days, they feel that since this is a covenant, definitely you can only have it with somebody that you have been covenanted with. That is, when you are married with someone, that means you are in a covenant with that person. And so, they say that that is the only person you have to have it with. But that is it, that was in religion. That was not in the era of grace. They would say that in religion. But now there is grace and sin has been crushed, sin has been destroyed. There is liberty and freedom for people. People don't need to wait until they get married before they can have sex, if they understand the finished works of Christ. But for those in religion, they will continue to wait and wait and wait and say that until they get married, that is when they will not have sex. This is nothing but a religious mentality and God is no longer operating in that dimension anymore. If you, are, if, you are, if you are just holding yourself saying that you want to, this is when you get married, that is when you have sex, you are just holding yourself for nothing. It has nothing to do with holiness, it has nothing to do with righteousness, it has nothing to do with purity because Jesus already nullified sin on the cross. He already removed it once and for all, and that is the truth about grace and To be very honest with you guys, this is super confusing. That is why I'm very careful and selective of the messages I listen to. Well, I think some of these people are just out to confuse people and nothing more. But tell me what you feel about this video in the comment section. Let's have a little chit chat. Don't forget to like and share this video on all your social media platforms. And if you're new here, smash on that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop another video. Thanks and do have a lovely day. Peace.